If you've published research before, you're probably already familiar with the peer review process. But in case you haven't, or have never thought much about why the peer review process is set up the way it is, here's a refresher. Each journal does things a little differently, but when an author sends in a manuscript for publication, it usually undergoes a quick screening to make sure it's ready for review. Then the editor-in-chief decides whether the paper is a good fit for the journal. Typically, the editor-in-chief is interested in whether the work fits the scope of the journal, will be interesting to the journal's target audience, and is generally performed at a high level. If it doesn't meet these criteria, the manuscript may be rejected. But if the manuscript seems promising, it's assigned to an editor with subject area expertise, usually an associate editor. This editor also critically evaluates the manuscript, considering the scope, whether the work moves the field forward, and if the results are of high quality. Only if the paper passes this test, too, does it formally enter peer review. At this point, the associate editor selects scientists with relevant expertise to review the manuscript. Some reviewers may decline the invitation, and it may take several weeks for the completed reviews to come in. Once the editor has enough high-quality reviews in hand, he or she then makes the decision to accept, reject, or request a revised manuscript that addresses the reviewer's concerns. This decision is based on a combination of the reviewer comments and the editor's personal evaluation of the manuscript. Typically, the authors don't know who has reviewed their paper. This process is called single-blind review. Some journals may opt for a double-blind review in which both authors and reviewers are unknown to each other, or the review process can be completely open. Regardless of the type of review, peer reviewers are critical to evaluating the suitability of the manuscript for publication. Although at least two editors assess the manuscript even before it goes out for review, the most rigorous vetting falls to the peer reviewers, who are likely to be subject matter experts and therefore in a better position to offer valuable and specific commentary. Thank mm -hmm. you.